When you hear the name of a familiar company, you'll immediately have some sort of emotional reaction. Now, that reaction is either positive or negative based on your past experiences with the company, recent headlines about them, or opinions you've heard from other people within your social circles. Each of these factors contributes to the overall reputation of the organization. Not surprisingly, people associate positive feelings towards companies that have good reputations. But reputations can be pretty fragile. Just one mistake can damage any love or trust customers have for a particular brand. This is especially true when the issue affects someone's health and safety. Now, companies are ran by people, and people make mistakes, so they're bound to happen at some point. But what's more important isn't who caused the mistake, it's how the company overcomes the negative brand image from it. Hi everyone, I'm Matt Moneypenny from eTactics, and today I'm going to explain how your healthcare organization can overcome a negative brand image. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. While you're down there, hit that alert bell icon next to it as well, so that when we post new helpful content, you get notified. The first step to overcoming a negative brand reputation starts by taking the blame. Pointing fingers at someone else for the issue makes it look like you can't handle your organization and make it accountable. But taking the blame for a problem that your company caused proves that you're responsible and that you actively want to fix the situation at hand. An example of a company that did this was Samsung. Now, I know this isn't a healthcare company, but in 2016, one of their phones had a battery error that was causing them to explode or catch on fire. This posed such a health risk that it was grabbing national headlines and people were making memes about it. But the company took full responsibility and developed a testing plan to determine the root cause so that they could remedy the problem and avoid it in the future. After determining what caused the malfunction, they announced this to their customer base and how they were avoiding it from happening ever again. This rebuilt trust, and as a result, consumers returned to using Samsung phones. Going along with my last point, your client should learn of any issues from your company itself. It's one thing to announce your mistake after someone has already put you in the spotlight, it's another one entirely to swallow your pride and be the first to inform your customers about a situation. If you don't, it will seem like you're just sweeping the problem under the rug. Healthcare organizations and many other companies experience this a lot with data breaches. As soon as they learn of an incident, they should notify those patients and customers who were affected. But people see the company in a negative light if they hear from a third party that their data was breached. This extends to any issue. If clients first hear about it from your company, they'll be more likely to trust you and see that you're handling the situation and can take responsibility for issues. But hearing it from someone else makes it seem like you're neglecting and hid the problem. Once your company takes responsibility, it's important to apologize. This sounds pretty standard, but believe it or not, it can actually go a long way. You want your clients to know that this isn't a recurring problem, that you sympathize with how they've been effective, and that you're going to do what you can to make sure that it doesn't ever happen again. If they feel reassured that you genuinely care about their experience, they'll feel more confident in choosing you again because they will know that you'll work to prevent the same mistake from ever happening. No matter how much responsibility you take and how much you apologize, there will still be people who still need a little bit more time before they can trust your organization again. They'll be afraid for a repeat of the situation and lack confidence entirely. This leads me to my final point. Remind customers why they chose you in the first place. You need to make them remember why they loved your company and why they trusted you initially. A good way to do this is through social media and marketing campaigns. These show the worthwhile aspects of your brand identity and culture so that customers are reminded of the many positive experiences they had with you. The reality is that you'll still permanently lose some clients when a problem happens that could affect the health or safety of your customers. When it comes to these vulnerabilities, clients will be more likely to choose to avoid any potential risk, but the steps you could take still could save a lot of them. Knowing that you take responsibility for mistakes, feel genuinely sorry about the situation, and are looking for ways to mitigate future issues makes clients more willing to believe that you'll ensure it doesn't happen again. They'll feel more safe and confident in choosing you and remember why they loved your brand in the first place. If you'd like to learn more about overcoming negative brand reputation as a healthcare organization or otherwise, reach out to eTactics. And you already made this far into the video, so you might as well like it, share it, and comment below. Well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to our YouTube channel.